Hello, welcome to this walkthrough of the Tactical Graphical User Interface. Tactical is for use with Crestron, touchscreen based home automation systems, as well as a number of other systems such as PC based systems. So take a look online at guijaboard.com to see the tactical options. We had three goals in mind when we created Tactical. The first was to create a beautiful user interface. The second was to make it very easy to use. And the third was to make it exceptionally easy for you to customize for each of your projects. We know that no two projects are ever the same. Different projects use different sources. They control different subsystems. And we wanted to make it as easy as pie for you to quickly modify the template for each of your projects. And we included everything that we could think of to help you do that. Tactical uses a horizontal navigation bar. I'll show you in a moment how simple this is to customize. Right now we are on the home page and you can tell that we're on the home page because of the subtle highlight around the home icon. The concept of the home page is to give your client a single place to access all of the features that they like to use the most. So Imagine that they come home and tap on the touch screen to wake it up and they can instantly set lights throughout the home, send music throughout the home, see who called and see basic information uh, about the status of the systems in the home. On this page we show a video window which in this case shows the front door camera. We've also included a second home page which is my favorite, showing how you can use this center section to insert a picture of your client's home and give them a really cool customized home page and I find that customers really love this. Let's imagine that you're programming a system where you're controlling the audio and video components but not lights or security or climate. In that instance, you'll just modify the navigation bar and instead use it to show all of the audio video components. And we've included this navigation bar that you see here uh, as well. We also include a second size of navigation bar if you'd prefer to use smaller icons at the bottom. This page shows some of the hundreds and hundreds of buttons that are included with Tactical. I'm only going to show you some of them. There are far too many to show you uh, here in this short demo. Here are some more examples. A lot of uh, both vertical and horizontal gauges. Number of different border sizes. And we include 100 icons and three sizes of every icon so again we want to make it very easy for you to have whatever icon you need in whatever size you need. Now I'm going to switch over to Crestron's VT Pro software and show you how to set up the template for a Crestron system. Now we're in VT Pro first I'll show you some more of the icons that we created for you with Tactical. and here they are in the medium size and here are some in the smaller size many of the pages that come with tactical you'll likely never need or want to modify I'm gonna select the blu-ray page as an example this page comes with all of the standard commands that you need for a blu-ray player but I want to choose a page that we will want to modify so I'm going to close this and I'm going to select the video source selection page. I want to replace the DirecTV with cable and I want to replace the PS3 with Kaleidoscape so I'm going to open up our icons page and I've got cable 
so I'll click on cable and here's my Kaleidoscape icon so we'll select that copy and I'm going to paste them over onto this page rename each of them and we're done I'm gonna make two more changes to this page I don't need climate or feature so I'm gonna delete both of those from the navigation bar and now that I've changed this this will apply across every page so now example I'll open up an iPod and you can see it's the same here now As you start to work with Tactical, you'll notice how you can make almost any change you like and adapt it to any project without disrupting the flow and appearance of the GUI. It's not like some interfaces that use lots of different interface elements that look cool, but then you change one element and all of a sudden you find that everything else is thrown out of balance. So the last thing I'm going to do on this page is delete the room and floor plan buttons, which I don't need for this project and I'm done with this page. So that's how simple it is to set up Tactical. In part two of this video I'll show you Tactical in action. Thanks for watching.